Armenian school girl Magarian. I was three years old when the Armenian genocide began and we were refugees ever since that I remember until I came to Canada. So when I came to Canada, I realized that it wasn't only me was a refugee, but all the 50 boys that came with me, they were also refugees of the Armenian genocide. That, it, it was just like a dream, like a dream, you know. We were moving, moving around so much, tying bundles, my mother crying. Uh, I don't know what was happening. I used to jump on her knees and ask my mother, why are you crying? She used to say, I'm crying for your father. I don't know where he is. I miss him so much. So I used to cry with her. But, but still, I was a child. I didn't know what was happening. But today I'm a man. Not today, but when I became 18, 19 years old, I knew my life was, my boyhood life and my baby days were, were hellish days. Not only me, but my sisters, my grandmother, my mother, and myself. But I didn't realize what was happening, you know, until I came to Georgetown Farm. Then after I started growing up. It wasn't a dream, it was a real life that we were tortured. And when Alex Sanyan used to tell us stories about the genocide, then I started realizing that what my mother went through, moving from one town to another town, one city to another city, you know, then I realized that it was unaccountable. Then I realized, then I became a patriotic Armenian. I said, I'm going to work for Armenia the rest of my life. I would advise them, any person that went through the same way as I did, I would advise them to keep his hope, keep his help, and you'll be one of the successes of your nation. You'll be a, maybe a, a teacher, maybe a minister, maybe a statesman, and always remember that you were a cohesion. Always remember that you were a Christian. Always remember that you were going to grow up to be somebody, like I did grow up somebody. I faced the queens of royalty. I faced the uh, uh, members of parliament. Stephen Baker and I were just like this. He took part of my life story. I was in Armenia. They asked me, what place is this Canada is? As I got that little picture there, I told them that stay in Armenia, protect Armenia, because Armenia one day is going to be what Armenia was, what poet wrote, Armenia, the land of, uh, of, uh, Trachtavair means uh, the land of heavenly, heavenly land it's going to be. The only thing that would help me today, you know, our great generals died for the cause. The only thing they expected, that Turkey should say, yes, our forefathers did this genocide and we're not intending to do any more genocide to any, not only Armenians, to any other nations. 